just repeal parts of Obamacare. If passed, it would also fulfill the GOP's campaign promise to defund Planned Parenthood for at least one year anyway. Planned Parenthood provides more than 300,000 abortions a year. It also gets 40% of its budget, more than a half a billion dollars from the federal government. The impending derailment of the federal gravy chain has abortion supporters upset. Dawn Legans is the executive vice president of Planned Parenthood, and she joins us tonight. Dawn, thanks for coming on. Hey, good evening, Tucker. So I've talked to a lot of Planned Parenthood people and defenders, and they always say it's not just about abortion. We do all these virtuous things, healthcare related services uh, for women, and defunding us would be a terrible problem. The Republicans say, look, that's fine. Just don't include abortion in your services. And Planned Parenthood comes back and says, no, abortion is too important to exclude. I wonder what the reasoning is there. Why is abortion so important to Planned Parenthood that you're willing to forego a half a billion dollars a year in federal subsidies? Well, I'd like to say first and foremost that Planned Parenthood believes in the wisdom and power of the individual to decide what care is right for them and what doctor they should go to. And no one's going to bully, threaten, or bribe Planned Parenthood to not have that view. But one and a half million people are at risk of losing access to cancer screenings, STD testing and treatment, and birth control because of this plan by Paul Ryan and Donald Trump to take that care away. And of course, people don't, uh, they come to Planned Parenthood and we get reimbursed for providing preventive health care. We don't get a budget item, a uh, line item, and we don't get uh, a big check. We get reimbursed like any hospital for providing a pap test or a breast okay. cancer screening. But that doesn't, that doesn't change the question, which is why include abortion if the services provided are necessary. Why don't you just take that out? It is a controversial thing. A lot of people think it's murder. Why don't you just take that out and then taxpayers can feel good about subsidizing the rest of your services? Well, again, taxpayers don't pay for abortion services. They help reimburse things like pap tests and cancer screenings. But women deserve access to the full range of reproductive health care, and that includes safe legal abortion. And so Planned Parenthood is going to let women make the choices they want to make about their care and go to the okay. doctor they want to go to. Then I wonder, I've always wondered this, maybe you can clear it up. So the most common cancer among women in the United States is breast cancer. And the majority of yes. breast cancers are discovered in mammograms, which while controversial, I think are still widely agreed upon the best screening. I don't think Planned Parenthood offers any mammograms, does it? Well, they don't actually, most cancers aren't initially discovered in mammograms. They're discovered in breast cancer screenings done by gynecologists all over this country, including those at Planned Parenthood. Well, and like any gynecologist, like true. any gynecologist, what we do is we refer to people for a mammogram at a radiologist's office, which is what every woman in America can tell you is what happens. They go to their gynecologist, they get a breast exam, something is found and then they get referred to go get a mammogram right. and if something is found there they go to get a biopsy so that's how it works so Planned Parenthood does provide an awful lot of abortions every year I think over 300,000 I think that's right uh, in that range um, and the majority of them are after five and a half weeks that's the point at which the fetal heartbeat can be detected I'm just wondering as someone who works there what do you think of that what is being aborted. If you can hear the heartbeat, what is that thing that's being aborted? How do you feel about that? Well, abortion is a right in this country. Women have their own views on uh, whether or not they want to be pregnant. Uh, that is not a viable fetus at five and a half weeks. Anyone knows that. And what you would do is uh, make your own choice. And that's all what, Planned Parenthood well, has right, ever but, said, but is that every think? woman should make their own choice. Right, but it, well, since you work made at the my country's choices. biggest, no, right, right, but I mean, what specifically do you think? You work at the country's biggest abortion provider. If you can hear the heartbeat of this thing, this fetus, what is it? Is it just a piece of tissue or is it a separate human being? I think that's up to each individual to decide what they believe, but women in this country, one in three women have an abortion during their lifetime. Obviously, right. uh, they are making their own choice. And what, what we're think? here to talk what, about no, but, today, no, but what I'm, we're, what I'm here think? to talk about today is that the Pence-Ryan plan will take away health and cancer screenings okay. and uh, birth no, control you, for millions that, of I, women in this country. Hold on, I'm, and I'm it's sorry, very I don't know what you important. feel about you've, you've said that, and I look, I think health screenings are important. I think Planned Parenthood probably does some good work. But the reason it's a controversial place is because it's, it's, it's the country's biggest abortion provider, and you're one of the people who run it. And so I just want to know what you think. No. If you can hear the fetal heartbeat, 
and then it's extinguished. What do you think of that? Is that a big deal or not to you? And if not, why not? Well, I take seriously uh, all of the health care work that we provide at Planned Parenthood. I believe in safe legal abortion. I believe it's up to each woman and individual. I know, but what and do you think? so what is I'm not going to make why a judgment. You, no, but why can't you give me a straight answer? This is at the core of what you do. You're the biggest abortion provider in the United States. It's not like you haven't thought of this. What do you think well, of that? I, is it? I would say is it that something it's a fetus. To be concerned and about? so, but what is a fetus? I would is that say a that it is up to entity? each woman to decide. Whether you and I can differ on this all day, Tucker. And We're not even differing because you're not telling me what you think. We're not no, differing I at said all. That I'm you're refusing to say what you think. Is it a separate well, being or is it a piece of flesh? What I'm going to say is woman? that 70% of Americans uh, believe that Roe v. Wade should be the law of the land. Okay. They believe that women should each individually be able to have their choices about what they want to do okay, in their but, pregnancy. But, and they definitely order. believe that women are at risk for losing but you know, care the under the plan that, that Donald Trump okay, and I, I, I get your talking points. I've let, you, I've let you repeat them a lot. Now, hold on. With respect, I've let you repeat your talking points, which I've heard a thousand times, many times. But I want to take it uh, just a level deeper because I think it's worth it. It's a big deal to a lot of people. And people say, look, this is killing a life. A heart is beating. You can hear it at five and a half weeks. And the majority of your abortions take place after five and a half weeks. So I want to know if that bothers you at all. Does it at all? Do you ever stop and think, wow, what is happening here? Is a life being taken? People say a life is being taken. Do you think that? I personally favor safe legal abortion in this country decided on by each individual woman and her doctor to decide for themselves. I personally do not believe that that is a viable fetus at that point in, viable, and there are rules a, under well there viable. are rules we follow why are you Roe giving me robotic Wade responses laid out. i'm asking you a human question and i hope you'll favor me with the human answer i'm not saying it's viable at five and a half weeks it's not but you can hear the heartbeat is that a human being or not is it separate from the mother or not a different blood type often a different sex different dna it doesn't seem like a tumor or something that is connected to the woman wholly, it's distinct. What does that mean? I would think you would have thought about it considering you provide more of them than anyone. Is that I a crazy have thought question? about it very much for myself, but I am not going to project onto other women what I believe. What I believe is that women have the right and the choice, and we're going to leave it up to them. And at Planned Parenthood, people well, you're not come helping them make for that high choice quality health care. We do. At all. No, we but do not help, help them but make a choice. If you think it's a I don't, choice, I don't help them personally make the choice. They get okay. to make it, whether it's with their minister or their doctor so what, or their partner I, or husband. With respect, or, I know you're smart, so. but you're giving me a series of rehearsed and very childish answers, and it's disappointing. I would think that you would have grappled with this a little bit. Have you? Do you ever grapple with it? Do you think, wow, this is a profound thing? All these protesters outside holding up signs. Do you ever pause and say, what are they doing? It's not just about disempowering women. There's another agenda here that's a real agenda. Do you ever yeah, think Yeah, I that? often uh, do look at those protesters and I wonder how they can be so heartless to be yelling the things that they do at women in their lives when they know nothing about what's going on in that women, woman's life. They don't have any idea what service she might be there for, but that doesn't stop them. So I'm often concerned about the shame and okay. stigma that people but try to force onto women in this country. Would, but, but why would they want to do that? Have you I ever appreciate, thought about that, have you? I appreciate it. I do. All right. So That was a uniquely shallow conversation, Don. But thanks for joining us anyway. Thank you. Anytime. Up next is the battle.